Uh, hello, well, my name is Dr. Michael Link. I'm a neurosurgeon at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I'm going to discuss just a little bit about hemifacial spasm. Uh, hemifacial spasm is really quite a rare disorder. Uh, the exact etiology is not known, but it presents usually starting as just a faint twitching around one eye. And then over time, it typically spreads to involve the entire face and produces a very characteristic, characteristic rhythmic twitching of the face that initially may be only noticeable to the patient, but eventually becomes uh, quite obvious to even a casual observer. It's typically uh, not painful, not associated with any sensory changes or numbness of the face. But as it gets more progressive, it can certainly interfere with daily life. Uh, can interfere certainly in social situations, but also even with reading or trying to watch TV if the face is constantly twitching or pulling up. There's no specific uh, way to diagnose it other than looking at the patient and seeing the twitching of the face. Sometimes an electrical test called an electromyograph or EMG can be helpful in finding the uh, characteristic electrical findings on that test. An MRI scan is often performed to make sure there's no underlying cause, such as a benign tumor, which would be very, very rare. Typically, what we think the cause is, is a normal artery of the brain that has gotten elongated and is pushing on the facial nerve. Uh, the treatments fall into three big groups. Uh, one option is uh, medical treatment with medications that sort of calm the nervous system down. These are medications that were initially developed to treat seizures. Uh, tegretol or carbamazepine is one example. Neurontin or gabapentin is another example. Uh, sometimes those are effective. Uh, a simple way to treat the symptoms is with botulinum toxin injections into the muscles of the face or Botox. Um, while that doesn't stop the electrical discharge from the nerve, it masks the symptoms by calming the muscles down in the face. Some patients only need those injections, you know, a couple times a year. Sometimes if the spasm is quite severe and progressive, they need to have them much more frequently. The only real definitive treatment is an operation in which we go in and actually look at the facial nerve and look for that artery pushing on the nerve. If we're able to find that and we move the artery away, we pad it up with some Teflon felt. And in about 70% of patients, the twitching goes away. There's obviously some risk with undertaking that operation, but the risks aren't great. And once again, the success rate is about 70%. Although a rare disorder, we have a fairly extensive experience here at Mayo Clinic, and we work as a multidisciplinary team involving the neurologists and neurosurgeons.